I have a new s- Oh my god. Relax. Jesus Christ. I have a new song coming out tomorrow. It's one of my favorites I've ever done. I love it. It's me and Sunday Scaries. Two very, very talented dudes. And, um, I love this. I really- I- I'm a fan of the song. I'll play you a little preview right now. But go listen to it. it comes out tomorrow, so pre-save it. Or, you know, just listen to it tomorrow. Like it. Th toss it to your- to your buddies if you enjoy it. Yeah, if you like house music, you might enjoy it. So please- uh, thank you so much for checking it out, and let's on, let's on, let's, let's onward, let's head onward to the video. I'm not going home. I'm on the dance floor till I'm all alone. Alright, I want to see what I'm in for, you know? Seven years from now, I guess. This video is called Couples Therapy, but the therapist is seven years old. Because, you know, kids, they're... I feel like they're wise beyond their years, but they don't even know it. Kids, there's no bullshit, you know? They don't, they're not distracted by the normal shit that we are. So I can, I can imagine that this is probably an effective way of doing therapy. How did you see the world when you were a kid? I don't know, everything was really big. Kind of like it is now, honestly. You know, it hasn't really changed much. <laughs> to a short dude, everything looks like this. Everything looks like a fisheye lens. <laughs> It's everything so big! We brought in three couples to receive counseling from kid therapists to see if a kid's perspective could guide the couples through their relationship struggles. This is a good idea. I like this. Already, I like this. I think a therapist is someone who helps other people. People or couples, if they're having a bad day or, or in a bad... or in a... or if they are in a bad situation. Yeah, nailed it. That's... that's what it is. Hi, my name's Isabel. Hello. And I'm Hi. Eight. Hello, my name's Isabel, and welcome to hell. What if she just started fucking roasting them? Cool mustache, dude. Awesome. Cool. What are you, a fucking guy that does this? Huh? Yeah, hey, I'm Andrew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hello, my name is Evan. Hi, Evan. Thank you. Hello. Are you Gavin? Yes. So, how are you guys feeling today? We're feeling good. Oh, well, I'm feeling nervous. I've never done this. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, that's cute. <laughs> That was cute. You know what? What therapist would admit to you that they're nervous? I bet sometimes they are. And that would probably make you feel better, you know? When I first started going to therapy, I remember being very nervous. I would have liked if she was like, listen, I'm fucking nervous too, all right? And I'd be like, you fucking... No, actually, that wouldn't make me feel better. And then I'd be like, well, sh are you not experienced? Should I have picked someone else that can actually help me with my problems? She's like, fucking, you're my first patient. I am shitting my pants right now. Honestly, I I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Go ahead, sit down, but you might have to give therapy to me after after I do you. So, um, I'm very, very different from my wife here, Kathy. I love video games a lot. Same here. <laughs> but that means I also like to stay at home a lot and just kind of do things, you know, on my own and play video games with my friends. Yeah, so I prefer going out. So I like hanging out with my friends. Outside, I like going out hiking, picnic, you know, the park. Yeah. Like, I could totally see a kid in this situation being like, well, it sounds like you guys should get a divorce because your lifestyles aren't similar. Like, sounds like you should find someone who wants to also play video games. And they're like... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> they actually have a park by me. I also like to ride bikes and stuff. Yeah, so our problem is that I like going out and he prefers staying indoor. So every weekend we have, you know, trouble deciding what to do and we always argue about it. Wait, I have an idea. Um, you know Pokemon Go? It's like a video game, but you can walk around. You can try that out. So the first of the week, you play video games that he likes. And then the other 50 of the week, then you have to do what she likes. <laughs> okay, gotcha. 50 50. I like that a lot. I mean, the Pokemon Go suggestion is kind of fucking genius. That is literally genius. That is the perfect middle ground, sort of. I mean, it's. No, it's not. But I mean, I'm sure people do this, but I can't imagine like a fully grown married couple spending all weekend playing Pokemon Go together. But that's feels like I'm judging. I feel like there maybe is people that do that. I can't imagine them doing it. I can't imagine actually someone, <laughs> someone that like likes to go for dinner and like out with friends and stuff like that. And he's like, "What is the same shit? What do you mean we're we're fucking we're cat? What do you mean we're catching new friends in the grass? Right? There's a there's a there's a Zapdos over here. We I mean friends with him once we get him. Come on, <laughs> he's not gonna be there forever. Right now it's eighty percent video games and twenty percent going out. Mm. 
So we have to split it halfway down. Yeah, I like that. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you guys disagree on? What do we disagree on? <laughs> do you have an Instagram? No, well, we disagree on Instagram sometimes. I don't know, I, I sometimes have a problem that you don't like to post me on your Instagram. You should be proud of who you're with, like you should want to post them. I don't know, it's just sometimes it feels like he tries to hide me. I don't think that it's much of a big deal. If you want to contact virtually, you should use sex messages, FaceTime or... Or Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom me? <laughs> yeah, we could, I guess, huh? What if the kid's like, well, I mean, he's probably cheating on you then. Yeah, so it kind of makes sense. He wouldn't want to show you because he wants other girls off Instagram, so. That would probably hurt his cause if he were to post to you, so it doesn't make any sense for him to post to you, so. That's the problem there. Like, oh, okay. I do understand both sides of this. On one hand, it's like, no, it, posting Instagrams is supposed to be a show of what you like and what your life, well, how you want your life to appear, right? So why wouldn't the part your partner be in that? And on the other hand, it's like, it's fucking Instagram. It doesn't fucking matter, you know? Big deal. If you want to contact virtually, you should use sex messages, FaceTime or... Or Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom me. <laughs> <laughs> you show her off on Zoom. <laughs> I can't believe that this kid was just like, well then just text him. <laughs> you want to be on his Instagram? What if he just texted you more? That's kind of the same shit, right? Yeah, we could, I guess, huh? How can I help you guys? Uh, I get a little grumpy when mm. I have a bad day. Yeah. I come home and I do put it on her sometimes. And I don't know how to deal with this sometimes. Like, I don't know how to make him not be grumpy. Do you know how we can fix that? Well, um, I, I would think probably, like, if you guys have, like, other rooms, you could go to one room and then you can go to one room. Hmm. Okay. And that then when sense. you cool down, you can tell her all about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> we never thought of that, so. Yeah. Well, that was good, a good suggestion. Idea. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, that was like, that's pretty incredible advice. Just go to separate rooms. I feel like people just don't even, don't even think of that, you know? It's always like, it's, a, and I'm fucking guilty of this too. It's always like, well, no, we got to work out this problem right now. We got to figure it out. Sometimes, you know, just, and then cool down, come back. That's why I think never go to bed angry is bad fucking advice. I think that's the worst advice. Personally, I do. Because when I'm tired, there's just no, I'm just never going to get in a good, we're just never going to work it out, you know? with a fresh brain on some rest and then you wake up in the morning and you're like, I'm sorry. I was just, I'm sorry. I'm, fu I'm a fucking idiot. You know, now that I've slept, I feel well, well rested. I've taken a piss. Now that I'm pissed as in I've, I have pissed, I can think clearly. Let me know if you agree with that. I'm curious as to what other people think, because I'm sure there are people that are like, no, you never go to bed angry, but I, I always go to bed angry. <laughs> I'm angry every single night until I wake up. No, but if if I ha if we have an issue, Kelsey and I have an issue at like 10 p.m. It's like this is we're not working this out now. There's just no way. This is a dead end. I feel like we sort of disagree on things when it comes to like jealousy and like fear of losing someone. Like our relationships end, and it is going to either end in breakup, in death, or divorce. Are you afraid that I would lose? That's fucking bleak. Jesus, I mean, it's true, but oh my God. I gotta say it like that. Especially to a child. I mean, listen, kid, we're all gonna fucking die one day anyways, right? We're all just on a one-way train to hell. Am I right? So what does any of this matter? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean, seven-year-old child? All relationships end. Your parents are gonna either get a divorce or they're gonna die. <laughs> That's so fucked. Leave you? No. The poor kid, too. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's having that existential dread, you know? What happens after this? So, if you, if you guys had to choose, would you propose right now? Propose right now? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just straight up pull out a ring and propose <laughs> right there. <laughs> this dude's like, come on, bro. The fuck is this? What about the bro code, dude? What are you, what are you doing, kid? The fuck kind of move is this, dude? Sorry, hon. I don't 
when I was just a kid. I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck. That's like, you got to plan that, so I would, I would say no. No, like, if you had it planned, though. Oh, if I had it planned, of course. Yes. But, like, as of right now, just get down on my knees, that wouldn't make sense. Well, I think of it like a rank, like karate, you have like this belt, you're at the second highest ranking, and then when you get married, you go to a black belt. Hmm. Okay, so you think it'd be like a level up? Yes. Okay. I do have something. It's kind of true. Kind of true. You, that kid's kind of spitting. That kid just ate, honestly. You just ate it up and left no crumbs. Thing else I want to advice with, though. Okay. So at, at home, we live together and I do everything around the house and he's great at cooking, so he does the cooking, but I do everything else. Do you think that's fair? Amount of chores? Mm -hmm. How can we make that more fair? Um, you do 50% 50, 50 of the house and he does the, uh, and then he does the other 50%. Yeah, but cooking is a lot of work. You have to chop the stuff, you have to buy the stuff. I cook every single day, but you only clean every three or four days. I that's, clean the kitchen every day. That's true. Yeah, you have a point. I have... I think these people need an actual therapist. They're trying to be cordial right now, but you can tell it's just they, they, they have this argument all the time. Constantly. You can just tell. And right now they're, there's a kid sitting in front of them, so they're like... But cooking is a lot of work, though. That's the thing. You gotta buy the stuff. You gotta chop the stuff. No, be, be, you wanna chop onions every fucking day? Be my guest, please. And also, the kid used the 50-50 thing already before. He already said that, so... I'm starting to think these kids, like, don't have what it takes. An idea. A first teacher ought to cook. <laughs> okay? That's true, that's a good idea. First start at eggs. Even I can make scrambled eggs. You just dump turn the oven on. Get a pan. And now he's roasting him. Every, every, everyone knows that a, a good therapist roasts their patient. Come on, even I can make fucking eggs. And crack the eggs, scramble them up. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Thank you for teaching. So he should teach me how to cook. I should help him cook more. And he should help me clean more. Yes. I love that. Her and my sister don't really get along. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I'm not sure why. You know, I, I don't know how to talk to her if she doesn't talk to me. Mm -hmm. So how do you think I should try to befriend her? Probably get her like a gift and tell her how you really feel like, oh, I uh, think you're not like being nice and probably say something like that. Hmm, okay. Well, do you think she would want to talk to me though? Probably. Oh. Give her flowers and a card or like a teddy bear like most people do, kind of. Oh, okay. She loves Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, you see? Get <laughs> rid I mean, if anything, it would throw her the fuck off, you know? Imagine someone you don't like. Imagine someone that you have a mutual dislike for coming up to you and handing you a teddy bear and being like, let's talk. I'd be scared. I'd be like, what is this, a fucking voodoo doll? What, what is this? What does this mean? Are you going to kill me? I like you now. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry we had any problem. Please do not kill me. Please don't stick a knife through this bear's head or else I will die of, I will perish by the same manner. Yeah, you should have told me that. Well, there you go. Okay, well. <laughs> On YouTube, do you see happy couples? Oh yeah, Mr. Beast surprised his girlfriend with a hundred thousand roses. Hmm. Hundred thousand roses? <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah, he also has a hundred thousand, a thousand dollar bills. Like if she wants like a necklace or a ring. You should get her a hundred thousand of them. This dude is just not helping this guy out at all. Uh, if you like her, just fucking propose to her right now. You're, you're just saying that every, every relationship ends in either death or breakup or marriage. So pick one right now. Which will it be? Pick one. No, pick one, please. Oh, you're not going to marry each other? Well, maybe you should fucking kill yourselves then because that's, that's one of the three options. So... Or should you break up? The dude's like, yo, fucking chill, kid. He's like, well, Mr. Beast got his girlfriend 100,000 roses. What have you ever done? So maybe you should break up. You fucking shut up. You should save up to buy what she wants. Okay. I think he does do that. He surprises me a lot, so I think that was good advice. He's meeting those requirements right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Maybe he is a homie. Look at that. He got, just got him a little credits there. Did you taking the time out to sit down and talk our problems with us. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. We're gonna find those games, okay? Bye. 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 Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Thanks, Doc. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <laughs> What do you think makes a relationship work? That they trust in each other and to love each other and not cheat on each other. I think love is a level beyond friendship. It takes um, a lot of hope and a lot of responsibility and trust to make a relationship work. Yeah, that's fucking true. My best suggestion for games, Among Us or Friday Night Funkin'. Among Us is like... Alright, look, I mean, that was... I mean, I don't think any of those couples' problems are solved. <laughs> it was a cute video. It was cute. Should seven-year-olds be therapists? Uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and disagree. No, I mean, you know, it was never meant to be a serious video, but, you know, that's... All those couples are probably worse off now from that, so. But, I had fun. And who let me do that? And that's the lesson here. Thank you to Jubilee once again. Go subscribe to their channel for more videos. This is an old one; it's two years old, but um, they're you know they post new videos all the time. So go subscribe to them. Thank you, Jubilee. And um, I'm gonna go play Pokemon Go with Kelsey now and catch a Snorlax. Maybe we'll see. All right, bye.